Well, I'm guessing he wants to do a little dance. Do a little dance. Get down tonight. Well, pretty much get down tonight. Hey. <laughs> video i'm excited if this is your first time here feel free to subscribe to the channel click the like button it'll help support the channel it'll help push my content out to people who haven't already discovered the channel anyways once you do that guys let's begin let's just start watching the video together all right we got season two episode 14 one with the prom video shout out to everybody who went to prom did i go to prom no why my school was too small my high school was too small wasn't enough people to ask the person that I could have asked, I didn't feel like it. I didn't want to go with her. <laughs> so I just decided to stay home during prom. You know? Anyways, shout out to everybody who went to prom. Shout out to everybody who enjoyed prom. Shout out to those who haven't yet and are planning to go this year. In spite of COVID. A bracelet? It's a bracelet. Put it on. Oh, now? <laughs> <laughs> you sure they haven't gone bad? You sure they're not very, very bad? Ugh. No, no, really. What's wrong they're with okay. you? Get out. Get out, Monica. A known fact that lobsters fall in love and mate for life. And you know what? You can actually see. It is. She's right. She's right. That even played out on an episode of Futurama. Wow. That I just reacted to. That's crazy. No, go check out Futurama. It's great. It's a great series. If you haven't already, go check that out. 11 o'clock. Totally hot babe checking you out. I think I'm ready for my penis now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. See how she's pushing him away and he won't budge? Oh, I'm going to do something. We are never going to happen, okay? Accept that. No. Accept that. <clears throat> that was intense. I almost shed a tear. Though you may have it anger now. <laughs> Judy, relax. This is our little harmonica we're talking about. We taught her well. 10% of your paycheck. Where does it go? In the bank. The bank. No, no, listen, I, I know how much this means to you. Bracelet buddy. That's what they'll call us. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Chandler. You know what this is? This is us getting ready for the prom. You know what, you guys, we don't have to watch this. The one with the prom video. There she is. So what are you gonna do? No, oh, the guys are here! This summer. <laughs> Work on your music. <laughs> Here comes your knight in shining. Oh no. Oh dear. Jack, how do I turn this off? Oh, oh what? What? Oh Jack. Oh Judy. Oh. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Glad that one's over. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Three consecutively fire episodes with the last one. Wow, that was a tear jerker. <sighs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Who said that? I don't know. Sometimes my girlfriend says that and it's rubbed off on me. Anyways, as you guys know, I've been rooting for Ross and Rachel since season one. Since the very first episode, I didn't even really know who these characters were. I just knew they had some sort of on and off type relationship and I wanted them to work. Problem is, Ross in season one, he never took initiative. You know, he, he was often too afraid to really tell Rachel how he felt. Season two, it happened, but 
not because he necessarily wanted it to, but it happened. She found out. You know, now we're here. At first, Rachel, you know, a few up for a few episodes, she wasn't really feeling Ross for the past few episodes. After the one with the list, she wasn't really feeling him. But this episode, she was able to see that Ross been getting clobbered. You know, you got clobbered because the Julie situation and the whole the list situation. But like, if we look back in the, in the history books, <laughs> we look back in the history books. <laughs> We get to see it from a different perspective. We get to see things Rachel didn't notice before. You know, she didn't notice R young Ross putting on a suit to make her happy on a prom night. You know, because he, he was a freshman in college at that point, probably, or a sophomore or something. And uh, he didn't want Rachel to be sad. And he ended up getting clobbered in the process. And that coincidentally years later is what led Rachel and Ross's relationship being initiated so it seems based off the ending of this episode I mean this was this was like some this was movie level cinema <laughs> this is movie level cinema if I was watching something like this in the movie in the movie theater and I, man, it would, I would have had a similar reaction. It was just... Anything that has... Anything that involves time and you being able to see someone else's perspective from uh, years ago, decades ago, centuries ago even. You know, anything that involves time, I love to see it. I love to see it. That's why... Game of Thrones will forever be one of my favorite series of all time. Because let us not forget, for anyone who has seen that, let us not forget Hodor. And his whole reason, his whole reasoning behind his name. <laughs> let us not forget that. You know? And let's not forget how relationships take sacrifices. You know? And we saw we saw that we saw that in this episode. It was just beautiful, man. I I I oh. <laughs> I don't know what that was out of my mouth, but I love this episode. I was ex I was fully expecting Rachel. I mean, not Rachel. Uh, Monica. I was expecting her to, you know, really be beaten down verbally by her mom. It happened, but not as bad as it could have been. Oh boy, was this, was this, was this a sight? Was this a sight to behold? I loved it. I loved seeing that kiss. I loved seeing everything leading up to it. Ross is such a nice guy, man. He's such a nice guy. I really hope he can be with Rachel completely. I really hope they can actually be in a relationship together. <sighs> I guess we'll see. We'll see how this series plays out. I'm rooting for them, man. I'm rooting for them. Right, that's where I'm going to end it, guys. See you guys either next week. Uh, I don't know when this episode will be released, but see you guys soon, basically. See you guys soon.